couple video again. So this will be from the different way of doing it from the Bujinkan. So normally in the Bujinkan you have these grips. One handed grip, punch comes in. Wrist wrap, wrist wrap, double lapel wrap, and kumyuji. Right? But we tend to not have these kind of clinches such as this clinch, like a Muay Thai clinch, this clinch, which is like a Kumuchi variation but without holding the, the cloth. This will be more practical if the guy hasn't got a gi. So, I mean, okay, we want to grab skin, that's fine, but he can do the same to you. We'll grab skin as well. So normally it's either you have this in here, right? So you will have cutting the elbow in there, or we're gonna have to bring this hand down this way. And this is where we'll do all our kyonha. So Luke is gonna grab and come close. I'm here, right? I'm gonna move, shift to the side and trap his foot. From this position, I'm gonna posture up myself that opens the elbow, push him away. From here, I'm gonna let go of the foot wrap and turn side. And that's gonna seki from the straight arm. So maybe you think that I cannot do the traditional version, but let's go for it, right? So just from community, right? So the kyun hapu gun seki. One, two, three. Okay. That's fine. But Let's try it from that position when the guy is trying to break your structure. So I'm moving sideways here. I break his structure. Push him away. I break his structure. I've got the elbow in time. Boom. And that's one way of doing that. Right? Next one. Mushadori. Let's do Mushadori. So he grabs in. I'm going to move to the side. Pull him forward. Push him sideways, he pulls his hands away, so now he wants to punch me. That's great. I hook in the mushadori here, take his structure. So I'm here, see I'm trapped that hand as well. Can you skate this hand out? I'm gonna turn that, see I'm, I, I could be going for something, maybe I got a weapon here, hold him there, maybe. <laughs> mushadori. So the pattern is always the same. Grabs me in that position. I grab him. I break the structure forward. I push him to the side. Then I've got the mushadori here. Take him that way. Skip over. Lock the hand. Turn. So for the uragyaku, same start, same setup. One on two. Push him away. He brings the arms in. Take the space here. See, I got this here. Now I'm gonna move him this way. That's good. Omote gyaku. Next. So for Omote gyaku, same setup. He's grabbing me, I'm moving him. Whoop! Push him away, he pulls his hands in. I stuff this, his fist in his face, and then I just let go here. Then you do Omote gyaku when he's down. The wrist back. One more time for this one. One, two, three sands, poop, push it, and hit. Two. Okay. So we're gonna do the same setup. Pull him forward, push him away. He pulls his hands in. I step in behind him. I got his foot trap still, and I'm in this position. See, his hand is there, so I can hit. From here, I just push back. Okay, so he grabs, pulls him forward, push him away, he pulls his hands away. From here, he steps out, lift this up, and here you have the position to do it. Okay, ah, the last one, Musodori. <laughs> right, so Musodori, we need to break this off us. So he pulls one. I'm going to pull this into me here, and at the same time, I need to step sideways. Push him away again. From here, <clears throat> it doesn't finish here, because when I'm going to go here, he's going to grab me from behind, and he's in an advantage. 
Let's do the other stuff. So he, one, get the hand off your neck. Go sideways, push him away. Now this hand is trapped. Try to pull it, pull your hand out. It's tight, I'm holding this. And from here I'm gonna go to the center line. He still can't come take my back now, see? Uh, so I'm gonna let go. Okay, so that's the Kiron Hapo, Torite Go Hogata against this uh, clinch, modern clinch. Cool. Thank you.